Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to draw debug lines. So as you're building your game, you will likely use debug.log quite a lot. It's very useful to show a message of something that's happening. However, in some cases, it might be more useful to visually see something in the game instead of just looking at the console. So for that, you can use debug.drawLine. This lets you draw a line between two points. So for example, so for example, this will draw a line from 00 to 5050, painted in white, and it will be visible for 100 seconds. Now, first of all, when you run the code, you can see that nothing is actually visible. That is because in order to see debug lines, you need to go up here and enable gizmos. And just like that, there's our line. It's going from 00 to 5050, and it will vanish after 100 seconds. And yep, the line is now gone. Okay, great. In here, if you don't set any duration, it will only be visible for one frame. So that is very useful when using on an update. So let's make a product void update. So without any duration, it will only be visible for one frame, but since it's on update, the next frame it will draw again and so on and so on. So with this, we should be able to see a line being drawn from zero towards the mouse position and being visible every frame. So let's see. And yep, there's the line, as you can see, it is constantly pointing towards the mouse. One situation where this is very useful is, for example, to debug pathfinding. So for example, let's say you have a pathfinding system which returns an array of vector threes containing the path that your unit will follow, and then cycle through the whole path, drawing lines so you can visually see where your unit will follow. So for example, just like that, you would be able to see which path your unit would follow. Another great use is if you have some sort of quadrant system and you can use essentially draw four lines to be able to draw a square. So just like that, we have a simple function doing a draw quadrant. It simply draws all four sides of a square and we run it on update. And just like that, we have a nice visual representation of a grid in our map. And again, we can just disable gizmos and everything looks perfectly normal. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. All right, see you next time.